Hey everyone, we are at the Lackawanna County Trolley Museum and the Steamtown National Historic Site, which is owned by the National Park Service. It is a rainy, gloomy day here today. However, we're going to show you that there are stuff, there is stuff that we could still do. Uh, this is a great place to come while it's sunny, obviously, because you can get great pictures of the fall leaves and everything else. But it's also a good place to go if it's rainy. Um, you might have family, things you want to try to do. So... This is a great way to do it. Uh, the trolley ride is about an hour and a half long and it goes underneath a mile long tunnel, takes you through the scenic, beautiful backwoods of Northeastern Pennsylvania. And it's a round trip. It goes out to the ball field up by Montage Mountain, if you're familiar with that, and then it comes right back to home base here. But also, and it's only gonna run you like maybe 10 bucks. It's something, something so small, very, very, very affordable. Um, and also you could check out the National Park Service's trolley, uh, train museum where you could check out these giant steam locomotives. They even have a ride that you could go on. It's called the Excursion. That'll run you a little bit more money and it will take up more of your time, especially during the day. So you want to make time for that. If you want something quick and easy and cheap to do, check out the trolley museum. <laughs> The trolley museum only, or the trolley ride only runs uh, Thursday through Sunday, so it's a no-go for today. Hmm. But hey, we're going to do something else. We're going to go check out the train museum by the National Park Service. Let's do this. Okay, so cool thing. I just went up to the desk to go pay to come into the train museum here, and it's absolutely free admission since 2017. So go figure. This is an entire museum that you can walk around and get awesome information about those old steam locomotives and the history of Steamtown and the National Historic Site, and it's all free. This is an amazing opportunity to do something fun on a rainy day like today. This is great. Let's do it. So we're here. Now, everything is a giant circle. So there's obviously this turntable here where they would turn the uh, locomotives around. They would take them in to get fixed and worked on. I mean, these are just incredible pieces of machinery for their time. I mean, the, the steam engine was revolutionary. It literally changed the way we get things around the world and operate. But this is a, like, I'm just so thankful that they preserved this type of, this type of stuff so we can learn about it. And you know, this turntable actually still works, which is really cool, and they actually still use it today. So we're here in the History Museum part now. As you can see, like we're in the actual building that housed these locomotives. For this to be free, I was actually like, I, I thought it was gonna be like 10 bucks maybe, maybe more, you know, but for it, I'm trying to show you guys like things that are fun to do in the area that won't break the bank, but obviously this isn't breaking the bank. So I'm thoroughly impressed and very thankful. Oh, I thought that was a real person. Okay, got a little informational video here. Boy, I broke my camera holder just before I got here, but we are still gonna make this work. Hello, conductor. Amtrak, that is, that is awesome. Gotta snap some still photos. It's part of me, everyone. How do you do? I'm so overwhelmed. What are you looking at? Tickets, please. Tickets.
So cool. All aboard. Here we go. Oops. Oh, this is so cool. I think we're gonna be able to go into a train. Oh, I remember this when I was a kid. Going up. So cool, oh my gosh. Ah, the bathroom. Cool. What is that? A refrigerator? Take some stills. So this was the mail truck. Look at how cool. It literally feels like you're back in those days. Like the mail sex. Okay, it's time to go on to the passengers. Check out the bags, luggage. United States Mail Railway Post Office. <laughs> Check that out. Pretty cool. So we're going into the passenger cars now. See, it's a little tight. That's the kitchen. Look at that. You can clearly see there's not much uh, room to work with here. And now, we're gonna check out a passenger car, uh, room. As you can see, very small. But totally awesome. I bet you I had a fold down bed as well. A little bathroom area. So cool. It actually looks like quite cozy in there. Like I would totally be cozied up in there. And now we are into the dining car. And they have like a whole dining room table set up in here. Look at this. So fun. There's something about it being on a train that's just very cozy to me. It's almost like being in a house. We'll go down the hallway. Oh, this one looks a little bit more high class dining car or passenger car. Very cozy. Little sink. So cool. I feel like I'm in another world. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, 
Holy cow, it's a whole room set up in here. That That is spacious. Amazing. I made a full bathroom. Look at that. <laughs> Very cozy. So cool. Got your bunk beds. Little seat area down there. And then you got your lounge. Very cool. And you could hang off the back here and wave to everybody as you're going by. Shout out to the National Park Service here for this awesome museum and for not charging us. Um, that is just an excellent thing. It's so good, so healthy for you and your family to get out and learn the history of this type of stuff. It's just like, it puts you right into this world. It's really cool. So we're gonna go into the area where they fixed the trains now. This should be interesting. It legitimately smells like a garage, that's so funny. Oh wow. I can see something. Let me just give you an idea of what we're looking at here. Do you see this? I mean, these things are absolutely massive. And so they would pull them in here and you could get underneath them to work on. Like, can you imagine this? Look at the size of that thing. They had hoods set up, you know, to vent them out so they could run them. It would probably get really hot in here. All aboard. I can't believe people reached over and actually wrote on that. <clears throat> so, massive internal steam combustion going on in that thing, like, and that's what was making it move. I mean, how cool is that? This is so cool. If any of you don't like trains, then you're not in touch with your inner child. Like, it, this brings back like all the memories like of when I was a kid. And if any of you had like model train like things, I mean, remember the ones that would steam? Okay, this is cool. That one is Canadian Pacific, that is legit. This is so cool, like look at, so the people would work underneath the trains. Like, can you imagine being in here all day just working on these things in like the hot steam, like of some of the engines running and the smells and... I mean, it just, it, like, it took a special person to work on this. Look at those tools. Look at the size of that pipe wrench. The thing is massive. There's water dripping. Very cool. Let's get a still image of that. I know it's a long video, everyone, but this is very interesting to me. Something's running. So 
So apparently this one actually runs. So cool. Are we going in another train car? I don't think so. Oh yeah, there's something going on there. There's water running in that. This thing still runs. So awesome. Look at where they put the coal. That is so cool. All right, it's uh, thumbnail time. How about this one? All right, moving on. Lehigh Valley. Where are we now? Wow, they actually have it broken down so you can see how it works. Like, that is so awesome. Wow, there's a lot to see here, everyone. what we just saw. That's the piston. And then that pushes this, which pushes that, which turns this. Well, there you have it guys I mean this is it was a quick trip but you know what it was really worth it and obviously I turned the camera off and was asking lots of questions and looking around but this is an excellent place to come if you are literally wanting to save a dollar but learn about history and have a lot of fun I also suggest checking out the Steamtown excursions which take you out into the beautiful historic uh, scenic Pennsylvania woods um, those are like day trip long you could also do the uh, trolley ride, which is ob obviously I said in the beginning of the video, and that only runs you like $10 or something, and that's like an hour and a half long into the woods. Great time to take pictures and enjoy that kind of stuff. So yeah, I hope you liked this little virtual tour of what we could do in Northeastern Pennsylvania or Scranton, Pennsylvania. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment and let me know how I'm doing. And uh, I love you all and hope to see you on the next video. Have a wonderful, blessed day. Talk to you soon.